Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to write a super funky disco banger that sounds something like this. If you're new to this channel, my name is Stevie B. Uh, welcome. If you like what you see today, uh, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and also uh, check out my Patreon channel if you need uh, personalized and thorough feedback on your tracks, uh, as well as plenty of other bonus content there as well. Also be sure to enroll in the Production Music Academy uh, if you're interested in making some money with music licensing. It's totally free to join up and you'll be the first to know about all of the upcoming courses and the deals as well. So I'll put those links below. Okay, so first things first, uh, I gotta set up a beat here. So if you're looking for some some, uh, some disco inspiration, look no further than these amazing Oliver packs on Splice just to get you started. We'll throw in a couple of basic disco beats here just to start things off. All right, so let's grab these drum loops, chuck them into our session here. One of them's more on like the top end, it's really punchy. The other one's just more like kind of straight ahead. Both doing the same thing essentially. I'm gonna throw these both into a bus and we're gonna call it drums and I'm just gonna chuck some like Volf on it just to fatten it up a little bit. I like this two bus glue preset. Let's give it a listen. Perfect. So I'm also gonna grab this electric keys vibey loop here and we're gonna kind of build the track off this. So on its own, this loop sounds like this. That's gonna work perfectly. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up my analog tremolo piano and get these chords down. So let's throw it down on top of our loop here. Okay, that works. I'm just gonna quantize this and copy paste it. And I think I need something a little bit deeper. I'm gonna pull up another patch here. Let's just use a stock Logic electric piano. This one should sound good. So I'll record something similar for this electric keys part. I'll throw in some uh, lower notes as well here. So again, I'll quantize that, copy that over. And I think we got something pretty vibey happening right now. Okay, next thing I wanna do is add a little bit of bass. Okay, I got my bass all tuned up. Let's throw this down, see how it goes. Okay, that was pretty good. I'm just gonna go into this audio clip and throw in my flex time. And I'll lock it to 16th notes just to make sure that the timing is deadly. Sounds good. Okay, let's add a little bit of funky electric guitar here. I'm gonna find my clean preset. Cool, that sounded pretty good. I'm gonna take the volume down a little bit on that. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna make sure that I quantize this to 16 so it's super, super tight. Okay, I'm gonna add another electric guitar patch here. Super funky and clean. Uh, here we go. And same thing, I'm just gonna go in here and quantize it. And I kinda like the back half of that performance a little bit better, so I'm just gonna grab the last four bars here and we'll just copy that in. So I think we need some funky strings here. I got this Aperture Spitfire uh, strings patch loaded up here. I'm not sure if it's the right one, but I think it'll do the job. So let's go in and make sure that everything here is fixed velocity, just so it sounds nice and even. MIDI transform, fixed velocity, select and operates. And I may have to bring these all down a little bit. 
That should work. And we could probably harmonize these. Let's see what we can do. Perfect. Let's copy that over. Let's beef up this percussion a little bit. I'm going to throw the shaker into the mix. Adjust the timing on this. Maybe throw some funky triangle in there. That should work. Okay, I got some nice vocal shots I'm going to throw into the session here just to kind of give it a little bit of texture. Okay, we'll start working with this one here. I'm just going to use this at the beginning of the bar here. Let's get rid of that. That sounds cool. Let's get a little fade happening here. Awesome. And I'll repeat that the next four bars here. And what do we got with this one here? Okay, maybe I'll throw that towards the end of the four bars. And we'll speed it up a little bit. I'm just going to move it up just a little bit. Sounds cool. Let's throw a little bit of reverb on here. Carve out those lows from the reverb a little bit. And I'll bring the volume down a little bit. And I might just shave off a bit of the highs here. And we also got this guy here. And maybe we'll just leave that for the last four bars here. I'll fade this out as well. Add a little verb. Sounds kind of cool. Okay, we got some nice vocal chop ear candy. I like it. Okay, just a few more things to add here. I'm going to throw in a couple of uh, cinematic snaps. Just going to tack them on to the end of the four bars here. Really subtle in the mix, but just adds that little something. Okay, I'm looking for a really natural clap sound. Uh, I found this loop. Uh, I might have to chop this up a little bit, but it sounds like this. So I'm going to bring this into the session, and I'm going to chop this up. Bring that up a little bit. Awesome. Bring those claps over here too. And one other thing I'm thinking might be cool is just like a really quick string stab. And again, I found a perfect one on Splice here. Courtesy of Oliver, thank you very much. Let's throw that in in the very end here and just see how that sounds. And I'm gonna throw a little bit of reverb on this guy too. Excellent. Okay, last thing, I think I need a little bit of melody in the mix, so I got my Arturia CZV uh, synth loaded up here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, that's great. I'm going to quantize that, and I think I'm going to double this melody with an electric guitar. So I'm going to use this really nice cinematic open uh, guitar patch. It sounds like this. And we're just going to double that synth melody. And same as with the other guitars, I just want this really locked in. So again, I'm just going to flex time it and make sure that it's quantized. And it doesn't have to be crazy high in the mix, just something to back up the synth a little bit. So at this point, I'm pretty much, you know, happy with my loop. Uh, let's magically turn this loop into a full track. There we go. Basically, I just copy pasted the loop, uh, took away a few things here, added a few things there, and here we are. I've got a bang and disco track, uh, and it's ready to be uploaded to all the music libraries. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, if you want to see how I turned this loop into a full track and how I mixed it, uh, make sure to check out my Patreon. I'll post that video up there. And in the meantime, I hope you're all doing really well. Uh, as always, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you thought. Uh, and if you have any questions, I'd be happy to get back to you. Uh, sending out lots of love to all of you. I will see you in the next video. Okay, peace.